Okay, so what we're going to focus on today um, are two poses. One is done in a legs apart pose, normally about a 90 degree angle and then bending forward from that position. Depending on which system you learn it through, it's variously called pancake and other sorts of things. And then this afternoon we'll focus on a forward bending movement over two legs straight out to the front. So as you can imagine, it heavily involves all the muscles on the back surface of the body. So we're talking calves, hamstrings, piriformis and glutes and we'll get into some fascial release work for the fascia of the lumbar spine in particular. Um, but for the pancake, for many people, the big problem is actually getting the legs apart. So that really targets the inner hamstring and all the adductors, and then the capacity to bend forward between the legs. So that's gonna be the focus of this class today is some limbering and some mobilizing and some solo exercises to progress the getting the legs apart part. And then later on this morning, we'll do a whole sequence of much stronger versions, some fascial releases, and actually work up to doing the pancake exercise. Okay? So that's the focus for today. Narrow the jerk a bit too wide. And let's start with quite an upright position. So I'm resting hands just above the knees there. And depending on your proportions, you might need to do a really strong shugging movement to get the arms straight, and then you can just rest there. So you can think about moving the upper body around, and also moving the hips around in a rotational sense, okay? With a lot of these exercises, there is no exact position. The basic task here is forward bend, body in contact with the thighs, making a little effort to straighten one knee at a time. Good. The other side. So hand on the side of the bent knee, put it right next to the big toe, use the elbow to encourage that knee to go wider. And the other hand can act as a bit of a prop there. Good. All right, one more time on each side. Now let's talk about the straight leg. You can keep the foot flat and the knee pointing straight to the front and that will expose some of the inside leg muscles. This time, let's try letting the toes come up and externally rotate the leg in the hip joint so the kneecap's now pointing to the ceiling and see how that feels in that. Okay, I think that's an hour, so I think we will leave it there.